What I want to do next is to make the top stories and random stories links functional so that when you click on top stories, all of these stories with the most upvotes will come to the top and then all of the random stories, if you click on random stories, you'll get just a ton of different random stories. So before we can do any of this, what we'll need to do is create a migration. So let's do Rails G migration, add cached votes to stories. And the reason we need to do this is because the acts as votable gem, it gives us a way to count the number of upvotes that a story has. So if we're going to add cached votes to stories, I'm just going to copy paste what they have in their documentation. So essentially what we're doing is we're caching the votes and it has a way to grab the totals and a few of these other things here. And that way we can gather all of the top stories. So again, this is all in the acts as votable documentation and you can read up more about it if you'd like. Now what we'll want to do is do a rake db migrate so that adds it all to our database and now we need to go into our routes folder our routes file and what do we want to do well we'll need to create two new routes here so we're going to create a top stories route and that is going to point to we don't have this yet but we're going I'm going to point it to a pages controller I don't I could if I wanted to put it in uh, the stories controller but I don't want that to get bloated and uh, and messy so I want to create a separate uh, controller to handle although it's not static but to handle the, this type of information so I'm cre creating two paths, top stories and random stories. And if we take a look at our rake routes here, it'll show that we now have two new paths here. Now let's go create our new controller. So this is going to be pages controller dot rb class pages controller application controller end it now in our views and I'm gonna leave that blank for now let's just see what this looks like so now we need to create our two action, uh, actions top stories random stories now before I even start typing anything in here I'm going to go into our model and I'm going to create two methods in here and I'll start writing it right now self.scariest so I want to get all of the scariest uh, stories and that essentially means all of these stories that have the most upvotes and I want to extract it and put it in its own model so that I'm not doing it in the controller so all of the business logic I'm trying to keep in the model. So what am I going to do? Do cached votes score descending limit five. So whenever I click on top stories, it's just going to give me the top five stories that have the most upvotes. You can change this to whatever number you'd like. Now I'm doing, going to do self dot random limit it to five again and order it in random so just using some SQL here to get random stories good now that I have those two methods what I can do here in my controller is just say add stories equals story scariest and then add stories here equals story random so now I'll be getting the scariest stories and then the random stories here. Let's go into our header 
find the links. So you'll see that this is the top stories and random stories links right here up top. Let's make these functional and point it to our new paths. So let's get rid of wherever this is. And then do that at the bottom too. And actually, before we do it at the bottom, let's just go ahead and type it in. So link to top stories, and then it's going to go to the top stories path, the path that we've just created down here. And we could essentially just copy this, and instead of top stories, it'll be random stories. And then we don't want them both to be active. And let's change this right here too. This active right here. So when do we want it to be active? Let's go into our application helper and we're going to create a helper method. And essentially what this is going to do is tell us when to put active in the class so that we know when to highlight it. So I'm going to do a model and say is active link path so we're going to pass in a link path and this is a rails uh, the current page here is a rails method and it just essentially says is the current page this link path right here if it is put in the words active the string active if not leave it blank now when we go back into our header what we can do is put in here is active top stories path and here essentially the same thing is active random stories path and then that'll tell us when to highlight top stories and you'll see that that went away good now let's do we did a refresh let's click on top stories and see what that does it's going to tell us that we don't have a template which is what we should expect so in our views here this is when we'll do a new folder for our pages and say top stories HTML ERB Do a refresh and here we go we have a blank page and we can start putting things in there and before I do that and before I forget let's just put in a random stories HTML ERB here as well now what do we put in here well it's fairly simple we'll just do the same exact thing that we have for our index just copy everything in your index and paste it do refresh ah we're not paginating and that's perfectly fine down here we can get rid of the pagination because we're only showing five top stories so we don't need that good now it's descending let's just test this real quick go into our pages controller and still scariest uh, go to story rb and do ascending just to see that these ones go down there you go fantastic so the ones the stories with the most votes are at the top now let's do the same for copy the top stories and put it in our random stories it's going to be the same exact thing and if we click on our random stories these ones I would expect would change and you can't really tell right now because all of our stories have the same message and all of the same users, but that's perfectly fine. We can test that out later on when we start adding more, uh, more data, more things that you can see right here. But there we have it. We have our top stories and then we have our random stories. All we had to do was add a few things cache the votes 
to our stories table, create new routes that point to a new controller, which we, I don't have pulled up here, a new controller that we've created called pages, and then create views for those pages. And essentially, this is the same exact code as what's in our root path, our home page, our index HTML page. So that's how you implement a top stories and random stories.